Welcome to West 10 Media Signing Day coverage. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now check out the next athlete, student athlete, that's going to secure their future. Hi, it's Thomas Sells Jr. here with another signing day. It's Cali Dunn. Get ready to head to the University of Arkansas State at Mountain Home. Did I get that correct? Congratulations. So, um, where are you heading out to Arkansas in the mountains? Um, well, when I was on the way up there, I just really liked the view and I loved being in the mountains since I was really little. And I just okay. decided that's where I wanted to go. So it felt something to see the spirit. So, it being beautiful and picturesque. So you were becoming a trailblazer, but you had to become a Mount Cougar. You played for um, Tifton County, played several traveling teams, 51, and all that. So talk about your path to college softball. How did it start? Um, well, I started out just playing rec ball, but um, when I started out playing travel ball, I knew that I wanted to really do this in my future. And, um, well, other people saw a future in like Coach James, he's here today, Coach James. It's really special when you're a traveling coach to come like um, Talk about how they help you get here today. Um, well, I played for Coach James for a lot of years. <laughs> Everybody sees them. <laughs> and he has just made me like really grow as a softball player and um, has helped me to stay in love with the game and want to continue playing throughout the years. Well, he said you're a natural softball player. He said you just got a natural gravitation to the game. You pitch, you catch, third base. Those are some of the hardest positions to play in the game. Talk about just how naturally good you are. Or do you think you're good? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, signing to college, you must be pretty good. <laughs> but you, why, why take on the hardest positions out there? They were just the most interesting sp spots to me because they were the hardest and it was going to take a lot to play those positions. It was going to take a lot of practice. Now, you practice and working hard at the game. You are a role model indirectly because you have a little sister in Jordan. She's coming up in the game. Talk about your younger teammates, your sister, trying to be a role model for them, especially with your senior year coming up. Wanted to make sure I kept a positive attitude, no matter what I was, how I was playing on the field. That way, they would um, start to play off of that too. Because if you get in a bad attitude, then the whole team just kind of falls apart. And, and I've seen plenty of teams come down because of bad attitudes. A positive mindset really does go a long way. You had to get that from somewhere, was it mom or dad? Was it Mr. Justin or was it Mr. Both. Oh, okay. Now, I know you got your shyness from your dad. <coughs> they told me that mama will talk. So, but talk about how mom helped you get here today. Well, um, my mom was always the one that supported me. She took me to most of the tournaments. She took really late night drives just to get me to places I needed to be. So mom was a trailblazer herself. How did dad help you get here today? My dad, he worked a lot just so that he could take off and be at the tournaments with me. Wow. You know, I know it means a lot for your parents to hear this. I bet they think my kid's not paying attention to the sacrifices they're making, but you were paying attention all that time. So you just didn't get up here by accident. A lot of people help you get here today, right? So my last question for you, how, what would be a perfect ending here for you at Mumford High School? in your senior year. What would we'll be the ideal way to, to, to cap all things when you head off to those mountain home? Beautiful mountain home, one of the top 10 places to live in America, by the way. Throwing that out there. Mm. Well, is this, this a cherry on top? Yeah. Okay, I guess we can leave it at there. Well, congratulations, Cal. Thank you. Things are not done yet. Thank you. <laughs>